Hey there, this is Jonathan with the Generate Press team. And in this video, we're gonna dive into an exciting upcoming feature called Generate Cloud. Generate Cloud allows you to design patterns on a source site, such as your starter or staging site, for example, and then effortlessly sync those across to all of your connected websites. So adding new patterns or updating existing ones in that connected pattern library makes them instantly available across all your sites. These patterns can be as comprehensive as you'd like, whether it's a fully designed section like maybe a hero or common wireframe layouts like grid and cards. This feature is a great way to build out a set of patterns that you and your team or even your clients can build new pages and posts from super easily. So let's jump into how it works, but before we get started, please keep in mind that what we'll be looking at today is a pre-alpha version of Generate Cloud, so things might change between now and the full release. Now, moving over here to my WordPress install, you can see that the suite of plugins I have is pretty standard, except there's a new addition here called Generate Cloud. This is one install that's going to act as kind of our source for all of the other websites. And what I have is a second WordPress install here, very similar, except you can see in the URL, this one says generate cloud hyphen two. And then I changed the color scheme a little bit so you can see it. But same thing is true over here. I have the same suite of plugins and we also have the generate cloud plugin as well. So what we wanna do is on this source site, we wanna create some patterns that would then be synced across to all of our destination sites. So let's go ahead and just quickly build out a couple of things. I'm gonna create just a simple hero section and then just some common grid layouts that you might wanna use. So let's go to our homepage here and let's just build something out really quickly. So I'm gonna pop in generate blocks container and we'll go add the inner container as well. I'll open my sidebar here so you can see what I'm doing. And on this container, I'm gonna go ahead and add a generate blocks global style called grid hyphen two. We'll go to blank style, set the layout to a display of grid and then we'll go grid template columns and we'll use the built-in one here for kind of a 50-50 grid. I'll add in two more containers, just simply duplicate these. And in the left side, let's maybe add in a headline of H1 and then it can just say, you know, some placeholder content, text copy goes here. And then let's add in a generate blocks button as well. Let's go ahead and just style this a little bit. I'm gonna pop in a global style here called BTN hyphen primary. And one thing that's really cool is if the global style doesn't exist on the destination site, when you bring in one of these patterns, it will be created for you automatically. So when we create this, I'll just choose blank style. And before we get too far, I'm gonna go clear out the block styles on this particular button. We'll go back to this and choose layout display of inline flex. And then let's just go give this a little bit of unique styling. So maybe we have 0.75 rim of spacing on the top and bottom, and then maybe two rim left and right. Let's go down and in our borders, we're gonna give this a border radius of 100 pixels. And then the background color, let's just use one of our default blues. And it looks like I accidentally selected pixels instead of rim here on the button padding. So then let's go to typography and we'll make this text color white. Okay, so nice and simple. Then on this right-hand side, I'm gonna take a generate blocks image element, go to media library, and we'll just choose this nice little photo of the beach here. Okay, so very basic section here. I also like to go ahead and rename these down here in the advanced tab. I like to go to the block name section and I'll just call this hero one or whatever you want. This can be anything you want. Then what I'm gonna do is click the three dots and then I'm gonna go down to create pattern. I'll give this a name of, you know, hero one. I'm gonna leave the category alone right now and then I'm gonna turn off synced. So I'll go ahead and click on create. And then while we're still here, I'm gonna go down and let's create another container here. And this one is gonna kind of act as my wireframe. So this is going to be something that I will personally be building out is a series of wireframe layouts that's like grids of different assortments. So I don't have to recreate them every time. I can just pick from some of the existing wireframes in the pattern library and have some common layouts easily accessible. So we'll go with a container. And what's gonna happen here typically is this container will be inside of something else. So in this particular case, I'm not gonna add an inner container. I'm actually just going to directly add in the number of containers that I want. So let's say in this case, we want a layout where the left container here takes up maybe two thirds and the one on the right takes up one third. So what I'll do is just go create a global style and I'll call this one something like grid two hyphen one. Click on create, blank style, layout and then a display of grid. And then we could go something like two FR, one FR. And then we can see our grid fits in nicely here. And then another thing I like to do is give it some grid gap. So we'll go back to layout and under the display of grid, we'll go down here to column gap and row gap of one rem. 
Now, of course, these grids are not going to be easily visible when you're looking at it in the pattern library. So one thing that I thought about was I could just create a little global style called temp hyphen border. And on this blank style, I'm just gonna go to a custom selector here, and then I'll just go with div, create this. So then any of the divs underneath my class of temporary border, then I'm just gonna go down to a border on all sides, and then we'll just do something that will make it really visible, like a little bit of red. And that way I'll be able to easily see in my pattern library what that layout actually looks like without any content inside of it. So again, at this point, we need to go ahead and convert this to a pattern. So I'll just call this something like grid to one. We'll click on create. Let's go ahead and update this page and save it. And now I'm gonna to return to the WordPress admin dashboard and we're gonna to go to appearance and patterns. So what we wanna do is give these patterns a collection. So they automatically get sorted into local, but we can create our own collection. So perhaps you might want to categorize them as something like, you know, hero section or maybe like clients or whatever you want. These collections can be suited to your particular use case. So if you go ahead and click this little collections button right up here, we can actually create our own. So maybe let's just call this one clients. We can go add new collection. Then let's go back to our patterns. And what I'll do is just quickly categorize these. We'll stick those in the collection of clients. And now those two patterns that we just created, the grid to one and the hero are in the clients collection. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. So let's go to generate blocks. We're gonna go down to the cloud option. And what we're gonna do is create a new key. And this key we're going to plug in on our destination site so that we can pull the patterns that we just created and sorted from this site. So click on create key. Then in this create key dialog here, this name is gonna be just anything you want. So it could be, you know, my key or key for clients, whatever you want here. And it's only gonna show up here in this screen. Then the key that it generates is perfectly fine. We'll leave that alone for now. And down here in the provide section, the pattern library, we wanna give this a name that you'll see when you open the generate blocks pattern library dialog. You're gonna see free and pro, and then whatever you input here. So, you know, we call that one clients. Let's call that clients again. Then it's gonna ask us which collection do we wanna pull from. Of course, we just categorize both of those two patterns that we made as clients. So we're gonna pop that in and just click on save. Now what I'll do here is go ahead and just copy this key. And I'm gonna switch over to my second WordPress install. And what I wanna do real quick is just show you that on this site, there are no global styles and there are also no patterns. So what we're gonna do is just go to any poster page. We'll just go to our homepage here, which is blank, of course open the generate blocks pattern library. And then what we can do from here is actually click on the plus button. So this domain is gonna be, of course, the domain of the source site. I have my public key on my clipboard, so I'll just pop that in. And then we can go back to the source site and there's a nice little connection URL here. So we'll just copy that, paste it in the domain field and click on add. And you can see right away it detected that what I gave the name before of clients pops in. And when I click on that clients option, here is the hero section and here is the grid layout that I created. Now on that border class, perhaps this is a learning experience for me too. I should have given it some padding so we could more clearly see it, but you get the idea. What we'll do is go ahead and insert the hero one. And just like that, we now have that whole section that we created. And if we take a look here, we also have the grid to class or global style brought in alongside that pattern as well. So I can go ahead and update this to publish it into my site. And here in generate blocks, I can go down to global styles and you can see that it created both that button primary class and my grid two class. So how awesome is that? The beautiful thing about this approach is that if you're switching back over to the homepage real quick, I'll go ahead and just pop in that other pattern that we created as well. So open pattern library, we'll go back to our clients tab and click on grid and insert. Now in this example here, of course, I added that red global style to the border. So in this case, what I would do now that I have it is I'll just go ahead and remove that temp border class. So as you can see, those patterns that we created over here on our source site are now synced through Generate Cloud into any number of destination sites. Of course, here in this example, we're just looking at one, but this could be 10, 20, 50 clients, however many you have, or however many sites you wanna connect it to, this will work. One really cool thing about this Generate Cloud approach is that if you're using fairly standard class names and you're using things like Generate Press Global Colors and Typography, then whatever those global styles are that you've set on the destination site will be picked up whenever you bring in these patterns. There's a lot to cover in patterns and we do have an entire series that covers patterns and generate blocks. So be sure to check that out here on our channel as well. 
I hope you're as excited about this feature as we are. There's a ton of flexibility here and what you can do with it is really, really powerful. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan and I'll see you in the next video.